Mommy with another episode of Mommy Says here on the Toy Insider. I'm coming at you from our finally finished studio. It's been six months since we started redoing our house and kind of moving all kinds of stuff around. And part of it was building this studio and it's very echoing, echoey in here because we have nothing in it yet. So I apologize for the echo, echo, echo quality of this video today, but the purple wall, so excited. Anyway, as you can see from the title today, I wanted to talk about something that um, is finally happening that makes me really, really happy. And it's about um, toys and dolls that are encouraging um, science and technology, engineering and math, STEM, which is the new buzzword, right? Um, STEM careers and, and um, STEM interests in girls. And uh, one of the, the new toy lines um, that really excited me because of the way it excited Gracie um, is the Project MC Squared dolls. And the, there's a Netflix um, series that goes with it. And um, they have a whole bunch of things. But it's based around these four girls. So these are the Project MC Squared dolls. This is one of the, the types of dolls that they have. So there's four girls, and I'd like to say thank you to MGA because they sent these to the Mommy Gracie show. So there's four girls on the show, so there's four dolls in the line. Um, and they all have a different um, a different specialty. Uh, Adrian Adams is the, um, she's the chemist. And then you've got uh, Michaela McAllister, who is a super spy. And uh, Bryden Bandworth, Bandwith, she's the computer geek. And uh, Cameron Coyle, and Cameron is like uh, the, um, like uh, engineering type sort of make cool stuff person. So um, the dolls are actually really, 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 really cute. They have rooted eyelashes and everything. They're like so cute. And um, which is great because I hate to break it to people who, who don't want to accept it, but girls like dolls and girls like pretty dolls. So sorry. And uh, they have these, these are the basic dolls, and then they have another set of it's the same four girls that come with an accompanying science project, and we've reviewed those on Mom and Crazy Show, but we haven't done the science experiments yet. And then they also have, and this is, I want to encourage you to, whether your daughter, granddaughter, niece, cousin, whatever, puts it on her holiday list or not, I would really like to encourage you to either get this or to get some sort of a lab kit, chemistry set, engineering set, and I'm gonna tell you why. This is the Project MC Squared lab kit, which Gracie and I haven't, um, we haven't played with it yet, but it's got a whole bunch of stuff in it that you can do experiments on the go. You can make a rainbow in a jar, make glittery slime, make a bubble blower, uh, custom dye real flowers, and it has a working microscope. So um, it's really, really cool. And it's cute because it comes all sort of in this carrying case, which is nice. And it comes with an experiment kit booklet. So uh, it tells you how to, uh, how to do this. The reason I'm encouraging you to get something like this, this holiday season, is that I remember very clearly the Christmas that my oldest brother got a chemistry set. And I thought it was the coolest thing in the whole wide world. I was like, just, that is so awesome. And then I was like, why didn't I get something like that? And then I thought maybe when I got older, I would get something like that. And I never got anything like that. And then he also, one year, he got a thing where you make circuits. And the boys used to get all these cool, like, you know, toys where you can make stuff. And... You know, it communicated to me over time, and that's the idea of having these toys for girls, is that by not having them, and by not buying toys like that for the girls in your life, but buying them for the boys in your life, you're communicating without ever actually saying it, that um, they shouldn't have an interest in it. Also, by not um, 
giving them those kinds of toys or engaging them in those kinds of activities. Um, you know, we tend to, when we, when we do activities with our daughters, we tend to do crafts, right? We tend not to do as much of let's make the, you know, blow up volcano or, you know, we don't do as much of, of the, you know, engineering type crafts as we do the pretty crafts. And we're, we're all guilty of that. But, and maybe your daughter does not have an interest or an aptitude in science, technology, engineering, or math. There's nothing wrong with that. My daughter doesn't. Gracie doesn't really, actually. She's an artist, um, and she's a great artist. And, um, and she's moved into sculpture, and, and um, but we did introduce her always to all different kinds of things. So, you know, science, you know, they have a lot of really fun kits. Um, you can get them in a lot of the craft stores, you know, make your own candles, make your own spa. Make your, they're, those are chemistry kits. They're chemistry kits disguised as a spa day. I mean, that's really what it is. And, you know, and you can do, we used to make things in the house and um, cooking, by the way, is also teaching chemistry, especially if you're doing baking. Baking is chemistry. So, um, but try getting one of these kits. Um, it doesn't have to be this one. It doesn't have to be pink, even. Um, it could be totally, it could have a boy right on the box if you want, and give it to your daughter, niece, granddaughter, anyway. And maybe, She'll love it. Maybe it will spark inside of her an interest or an aptitude that already exists. That if you didn't give the kit to her, she wouldn't have known. But there's one other piece of this, um, this particular line, this Project MC Squared. One other thing that I'm tremendously excited about, and I haven't really heard too much talk about, except when Gracie and I reviewed the dolls, and even Gracie was just like, is this particular doll or the character of Adrian? She is in particular um, a pink girly girl kind of girl. Um, the clothes that she wears in the show, um, and even the way her doll is dressed, are particularly girly girl colors. And Gracie actually made a comment when we were watching the show. And she made a comment about the way she was dressed in a derogatory sense in saying that. And, and I was like, whoa, we need to talk about this perception that um, a smart girl wouldn't dress like that. What would a smart girl dress like? So we ended up having a discussion, which was more like an argument about um, that whole judging a book by its cover thing um, the whole, you know, I mean, right there, I was just sort of stunned because my daughter is actually a pretty staunch feminist, but, and I realized that there is actually a bias in some feminists against pink and makeup and fancy dressy clothes and high heels and like, you know what? If you want to wear pink, and this girl wants to wear pink, and wear high heels, and wear makeup, and have lots of cute accessories, and dress very cutesy, and be a brilliant chemist at the same time, then she can do that. At the same time, if she wants to dress in sneakers, and shorts, and a t-shirt, and a beanie, and be a genius at the same time, she can do that too. You can also dress in shorts and a beanie and sneakers and a t-shirt and be a doofus. So, um, I think that people really, um, I think we need to stop associating pink with anti-feminism. <laughs> I think we need to stop associating um, Barbie with anti-feminism. Barbie has had more careers <laughs> than any woman on the planet. Barbie's been to the moon. Barbie's been an astronaut. She's been an airline pilot. I mean, I know she gets knocked for wearing pink and high heels and being fashionable and being pretty and having a completely unrealistic body type if we were to make her 
actually, you know, a scale size, human size of the Barbie doll. I've seen the figures, I've seen what it would look like. But um, if, we're, if we start teaching girls that, that um, liking Barbie or looking like Barbie or wearing pink um, is bad because smart girls don't do that, I think we're just messing it all up again. <laughs> so can we just maybe agree that people can potentially be smart no matter what they look like or what their gender is, they can be smart, that they can engage in any career path that they want, no matter their gender or what they like to wear, they can do anything. We all can do anything. If we have an aptitude for it, then we can do it. We may not have an aptitude for it, okay? Your daughter may not have an aptitude for STEM stuff. Expose her to it. If she doesn't groove on it, if it doesn't make her happy, if she's not interested or she's not good at it, you have not failed. You have a daughter who's just not good at that. You might also have a son who's just not good at that, right? Not every boy is good at football. And guess what? Some girls are. But you expose them to different things and you keep trying. You know, I've tried, you know, we've exposed Gracie to a lot of science stuff and it doesn't click. It just doesn't work for her. She's not interested. Oh well, we tried. We tried. Not everybody's going to be a female genius scientist. Not everybody. Some will though, if you give them the chance. So that's my babbling for this week. Look forward to seeing Mike from Hey That's Mike next Monday with Mike Says. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much to uh, the Toy Insider for giving us this space on Mondays to um, talk about toys uh, from an adult perspective. And uh, talk about toys and, and how it keeps us young and happy. And until I see you in two weeks, have a great week and I love you. And thank you so much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, keep your eye on the Toy Insider because lots of fun stuff happens here and we'll see you again soon.